No matter what your skill level, taking photos in the jungle can always be a challenge. So Jack and I wanted to pass along some tips and tricks in a crease class that is a little bit different from others that we've done. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready, Jack. Is it filming again? Yeah, it's still it's filming. Worse than life. It's only on like three minutes. It's worse than life. It's cool. It's face. No, it's really cool. You're fine. How do you do it? First of all, out here in the jungle, it is really dark under the canopy. So there are different ways to deal with this. Um, for us, we like to optimize the use of light by going out in the morning and using as much daylight as possible. The other thing that we do is use external sources of light when possible. So you can use an LED panel or an external flash. The biggest problem that we undertake in the jungle is the unpredictable weather. It's very wet in the rainy season and it's extremely humid for the rest of the year. The way that we combat these issues is that we have a waterproof cover for our rucksack. That's an essential thing to have with you. Um, as well as potentially extra dry bags for lenses and your camera and to prevent the humidity from getting into your uh, lenses and your camera to have silica gel sachets or rice in a sock. When we go out on survey, um, we're usually on difficult terrain, lots of hills, lots of routes. Um, we're also walking between 7 to 10 kilometers a day. So a good supportive backpack cannot be underestimated. If you want to take photos of the small things in the jungle, pack a macro lens. I use the 105 Nikon. Um, if you don't have a lens like this, then use the macro setting on your camera. And if it's the bigger picture you're wanting to capture, don't forget to pack a wide angle lens like this Tekina 11 to 16 millimeter um, and a small light tripod, which will help you take panoramics. Out here in the jungle, we have the opportunity to photograph many different species, some more fast moving than others. A way that we combat this issue is that we either use uh, flashes, like these ones, um, or we just use patience. We wait for the subject to land or stop moving and then photograph it. Finally, here at the MLC, we only get power two hours, four times a week. So to save yourself the frustration of carrying a defunct camera around, pack a spare battery. For anyone wondering what kit we use, check out the photos below. Down there. Nailed it! That was smooth. That um, was really, that was the most smoothest thing you've done so far. Good job.